Spring officially starts here in the UK on the 20th of March and I am so excited that I've been preparing everything ready for the spring summer season. I've been preparing for propagating. I've set up some plant pots ready for soil propagations, just some fairly small ones depending on the size of the plant. I've also set up this propagation station um, for this I just used a spice rack and I've bought these little glass bottles which were really cheap, they're only 80 pence each and I've just put those in there and I'm going to use this for water propagations. And these are perfect for propagations because they've got the smaller bit here that will hold the plant in place and then a little bit more space here for the roots. So I thought these were absolutely perfect for propagating in. I also have some of these smaller ones too for some of the smaller plants and they also have that slightly more narrow neck so those are going to be perfect too for propagating and they're also going to look good as well which is always good when you've got a lot of propagations hanging around it's nice if they look aesthetically pleasing isn't it? I've also started preparing my list of supplies for things that I need to acquire and some of the things I have on my list is firstly I want to get a prop box I've never actually used a prop box before but I'm going to give it a go this year um, because it will be good for holding in the humidity for the cuttings to thrive yeah so I'm going to try that for the first time this year but I just need to find a box that's the perfect size and one with a closable lid and it should be clear as well so I haven't quite found the perfect one yet but I should keep looking. I also need to get some basic soil materials such as orchid bark, pumice and hopefully some worm castings. I've never seen them for sale here in the UK so I may have to get those online. I have been mixing some basic soil mix which is basically the expandable cocoa coir that you add water to. I buy it compressed and then I add water to it and then I've just added some perlite to this and this is what makes up my basic mix. For example if it's a monstera or a philodendron they do like a chunkier mix so I'd probably add more pumice and more orchid bark in there just to give it that chunkier mix that they like. I also need to get hold of some larger nursery pots. I do have a selection of nursery pots but I've got a few plants that I'm going to repot this year and I know they're going to need pots that are bigger than the ones I've got so I do need to get my hands on some correct size pots for those ones especially because I'm going to be repotting my monstera and putting a pole in there which brings me on to my next supply poles. So I do have two poles already. I did have three but I used one. Um, so I have those ready to go. I'm not sure if I may need some more. I possibly might. We'll see. But I've got two. I also need to get some liquid fertilizer and I normally use Baby Bio but I'm not sure whether I might try a new one this year. I don't know really much about fertilizer. If you know what's good for fertilizer, do let me know if you have any experience that you'd like to share. I'm not the most experienced on this, so I'd love any advice you guys could give me. I've also been making a list of all the plants that I plan on propagating this year, and so far I have the Syngonium white butterfly, which is the only Syngonium I have so far but I would love to collect some more Syngoniums this year too, on a side note. I'll also be propagating my jade plant as usual because I do usually snip the tips off that every year and encourage it to branch. Also, I would like to do some propagations of my Monstera Silta Pecana and this one is still fairly new but it does have a bit of a vine coming off that's getting a little bit leggy so I'm thinking maybe I might chop that and prop it. Am I going to give this plant a pole this year? I'm not sure. I kind of like it trailing, but I'd also like to try a pole, so maybe I'll do two and try both. Um, the other plant I want to propagate is my Philodendron Brazil, and I just love this plant. I would like to have 
one of these on a pole and I would like to have one trailing, possibly even more than one, so we'll see how that goes. I'm also going to propagate my Tradescantia nanook because it does need to be propagated as it grows. It tends to get quite leggy, a little bit bald on top, so I'm going to give that one a refresh, chop and prop it, and yeah, I just love propagating this plant because it's super easy, it takes so easily. Um, last year I propagated it in soil, I may try soil and water this year just because I would really love to capture the roots growing on camera for you too and see the progress, but we'll see. What else do I want to propagate? The weeping fig, I definitely want to propagate this one. This one again was super easy to propagate last year and I'm definitely going to do some more. I'd quite like to do myself a pot of this this year that will grow in a sort of more of a bush form. At the moment mine's in sort of a tree form and I really love it but I'd also like to have one in more of a shrub form so I may do some cuttings and try that out. As usual I'll probably propagate my epiprenum this year, I do it every year. It always grows really fast and it also promotes bushier growth as well. So usually I get two vines where I cut one vine so that just makes it all the more full so that's great. So I'll definitely be doing that. I also have some corms this year that I'm going to do from my alocasia and I have a small enclosed coffee jar that I plan on using to sprout them and then I have these tiny little glass containers. I thought I would use these for growing them on after they've sprouted in their enclosed space. It's the perfect size and I've seen people doing it in water and in perlite and in moss probably in soil too, so I'm not sure what substrate I will use yet or whether it will be water, but we'll see. But I thought these were really cute for doing corms in. I possibly might propagate some rubber plants. Still a bit unsure on that one, but I am feeling the urge to do it, so I think I may well do it. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I haven't propagated rubber plants before, but I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, I am kind of itching to do that as well and yeah the other plant i want to propagate is my maranta because it's going quite wild it's starting to spread fairly significantly and so i'm thinking let's take some cuttings off that and make some new plants maybe give some away maybe keep some possibly put some more back into the pot so it's a bit more fuller in spaces where it's not we'll see but yeah, I think that will be a really fun one to propagate. I've not propagated that one before, so this will be my first year propagating Maranta. What else? My new plant fitting in really nicely. Um, this Prince of Orange has its new leaf come out. I don't think that new leaf was out when I last showed it. So it's very happy. It's also had a nice watering today and yeah, it seems to be thriving, as does my self sword, and I'll try and show you that one, but it's a fairly big one, but there it is. That's also doing really well, and I think I've got my rubber plant on the shelf behind me somewhere, yeah. So yeah, they're all fitting in nicely, as is my new alocasia, and all the plants are happy, and I am really looking forward to spring so it officially starts on the 20th of march and really that's less than two months away and we all know how quickly that time goes by so it will be upon us very soon and this year i am prepared and i cannot wait to start propagating to start seeing my plants grow again and please let me know in the comments what are you looking forward to this year do you have any plants that you would love to see glow up this year do you have any new plants or plants you're excited to propagate do let me know in the comments and on another note just to let you know that I was thinking of doing a Q&A style video where I'll probably do some plant chores whilst I chat to you so if you do have any questions let me know in the comments I also posted a community post as well about this but you may not have seen that so if you do have any questions you'd like to see in a future video let me know in the comments and I'll look forward to that. If you're a house plant addict like me, you may want to watch another video. Here's one that I've picked out for you. Check it out. I do also have other videos if you want to check them out on my channel. 
and thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.